LLS is going on the offensive against acute myeloid leukemia because there's a huge unmet medical need. 20,000 Americans will be diagnosed with AML this year alone. 10,000 of them will die. The current treatments are 30-year-old chemotherapies that frankly don't work. It's time we change the standard of care for that disease. LLS has gone on the offensive to make that happen. The BEAT AML Master Clinical Trial for AML is a new concept. It allows us to use detailed genetic information of every patient's individual leukemia to assign them to the best, most targeted treatment for their leukemia. And it's gonna let us show that this approach is or is not better than before where we treat all patients the same with very toxic, very ineffective therapy. So it's really the ultimate in precision medicine, matching a specific treatment to the specifics of every person's individual leukemia. The Leukemia and Lymphoma Society is the absolute right organization to lead this, the BDML uh, uh, effort because the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society is about patients. That's their you know, predominant focus to you know, the patients with AML and related blood cancers. And they can act as the honest broker, per se, between pharmaceutical companies, between the, F you know, between the FDA, between institutions, investigators, and you know, bring all that group together to work together toward a common goal of moving drugs, you know, moving drugs forward quicker, you know, that are patient friendly, to you know, ultimately getting them approved for patients with AML. Acute myeloid leukemia is a priority among blood cancers because first and foremost, it's the most common acute leukemia that we take care of in the United States and worldwide. The second is that although we understand the biology and what drives acute myeloid leukemia very well, we still have a need for new and better treatments. And so we think it's of utmost importance to develop new treatments and try them in the right subsets of patients. The fundamental question that we're faced right now is how do we go from using the same treatment for everybody with acute myeloid leukemia to personalizing treatment? And the first step to doing that is to develop clinical trials which use individual information about every patient's leukemia to assign them to the best treatment for their leukemia. And that would be a very different way of doing clinical research and also providing clinical care than what we've done before. Genomic testing is a fancy word which really describes how we use sequencing of the individual DNA of every leukemia to understand what's different about every person's leukemia and what's different about the leukemia cells in that person from all the other cells in their body. What makes those cells unique and different? What makes them grow? And what might be targeted that actually can thwart those cells so that we can actually take advantage of this very specialized knowledge to use specific therapies which take care of the leukemia in a way that wouldn't affect other cells. We need to push those boundaries and come up with a completely different way because what we're doing just hasn't worked that well. Over our 67 year history, the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society time and again has taken a leadership role when it's recognized a challenge for patients. And we're doing it again with acute myeloid leukemia and the BEAT AML initiative. We're in an ideal position to be able to bring together all of the players in the ecosystem of developing a new therapy for AML. The pharmaceutical industry, the uh, academic community, the academic research community, the regulatory bodies.